Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to show you how to connect your laptop to a TV. There's a lot of different reasons that you might want to do this. Maybe you're trying to watch uh, something online at home or maybe you're trying to do a presentation at work or school or something like that. There's a lot of different reasons that you want to connect a laptop to a TV and this video is going to show you what you need and how to do it. Kettner Creative is an audio visual company based out of Vancouver, BC. Not only do we do this for clients literally thousands of times each year, sometimes five or ten times a day, but we also have other videos on other topics. So if this is something that's interesting to you or if you're an AV geek or something like that, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. So what do you need in order to connect your laptop to a TV like this one? This is a 60 inch sharp TV. Almost any TV made in the last 20 years has a HDMI input. Uh, so that we're gonna show you how to connect it that way. You're also gonna need a laptop, uh, preferably with a power cable or something like that. Uh, some laptops need adapters to get to HDMI. Some laptops have an HDMI port right on the laptop. Uh, this particular uh, Dell XPS needs a USB to HDMI adapter. MacBooks need like a USB-C to HDMI adapter. As much as possible, we always recommend buying the official manufacturer uh, adapters as required. You can get a lot of cheap adapters off of Amazon and that sort of thing. Usually if there's a problem, it's some sort of firmware issue with the adapter itself. So we just recommend buying the official ones from Apple. It makes life way easier uh, for Apple computers especially. And you're gonna need an HDMI cable. You can also do this with a VGA cable, uh, but it's 2020, uh, everybody has HDMI now. So we're just gonna show you how to do it that way. Uh, so first of all, uh, restart your computer. Uh, if you have a problem of any type, we always recommend not only restarting your computer, but also uh, turning off and unplugging your TV and then replugging it back in. That's the first thing we'll do, uh, just to double check that uh, all the memory and all that is re reset. If you have any issues, usually doing that will solve it for you. So we'll plug the TV into power here. You might be at home or school or a boardroom where it's already plugged into power and that's great. Uh, for this laptop, we're gonna plug this little adapter into it. So that gets us uh, USB to HDMI. Uh, and then we're going to use this 25 foot HDMI cable to connect the laptop into the HDMI one input on the back of the TV. Don't go too crazy with HDMI cables. Generally, most HDMI cables work. Um, we just go with like Amazon basics or mono price or something like that. Honestly, we've never had issues. Uh, so then we'll take the HDMI cable. Uh, I always like to start at the um, laptop side, but it doesn't really matter. And we'll plug it into HDMI input one on the back of the TV. You can plug it into any input on the TV that you want, uh, but just make sure that you remember it. If it doesn't pop up right away, the first thing I'll check is I'll use the remote uh, to make sure it's like not input one or two or something like that. So you can see here it popped up right away, no problems. Uh, so we're good. Um, another thing you might want to try if it uh, some people like to have it as an extended display, meaning right now they are mirrored, they're showing the same content. Uh, so you can hit the um, Windows key here and then uh, the letter P. So that, and then you can select whether you want uh, PC screen only, which will turn off the TV, if you want it duplicate or if you want it extended. So here's what extended would look like. So here we have our browser window here and then we can drag it across if we want. That's great if you have like a playlist or something like that, you wanna manage it on your screen, but you want different content being shown to your guests. Uh, or if you're doing something like a PowerPoint presentation where you wanna see your notes and you want them to see the slides that you created. So that's a great way to do it that way. So we hit uh, Windows P again, and we go back to duplicate. Uh, this is the most straightforward uh, way for people that I uh, just want an easy, uh, bigger screen at home or something like that. And there you have it. And double click away, and there it is. So that's how you connect your uh, laptop to a TV. If you have any questions about anything that we've done or if you have other videos that you want to see in the future, uh, please comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.